Hey friends, welcome to A Little Of It All. My name is Taylor. On this channel, we are using the zero-based and cash-stuffing budgeting methods to stay out of debt and save money to buy a house. So if that sounds like content you're interested in, friends, I would just love it if you subscribe to this channel and joined us on our really fun adventure that we have been on. We would absolutely love, love, love to have you. But friends, don't be surprised if you see a video pop up on like a crafting or maybe like a DIY video because I do love a little of it all. Thanks so much for choosing me to spend some time with today, friends. Whether this is your first time stopping by or you've been hanging out for a while, I'm just so incredibly thankful that you're here. Thank you so, so much for your support. Guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I'll know that you're hanging out today. We are stuffing June's second paycheck today. Yay! It is my husband's paycheck. There should be a total of $1,444 in here today. But before we give this account, friends, I need to tell you... <laughs> that I have left the air conditioner running today. Normally when I film my videos, I like to cut off the AC. I like for it to be a as noiseless as I can make it environment sands the traffic. I know that we live on a heavy traffic street and you guys always hear the traffic in the background. Hopefully when we move, that will not be <laughs> there anymore, but there's not really anything I can do about that. Um, however, um, we are in Mississippi and the Mississippi heat is in full force and it is incredibly, incredibly hot where we are living. Um, so it has just gotten to the point where like I can't really cut off the air anymore because that like heat like it just gets so hot in this trailer um so i'm hoping that it doesn't affect the sound quality of the video too bad but please let me know if it does i will absolutely go back to cutting it off for the 30 35 40 minutes that i film these videos but if i can leave it on i would love to y'all just let me know i will do whatever is best for us as a whole um but i just thought i'd try it one time and see <laughs> if it if it makes like a huge difference so please let me know in the comments below at the end of this video if you can tell a huge difference in the sound quality um, if you can hear and it's super annoying so with that being said let's give this account today Okay, that is it guys. We have exactly what we need. My friends, if you want to check the description box below, you are going to see that I have linked there all of my favorite rewards apps. I have got Receipt Pal. I have got um, Receipt Jar. I have got Fetch. I've got all of my ones that I use where I scan in my receipts and get coins or points to save up for Christmas. That's what I like to save mine up for for Amazon gift cards for Christmas, but you don't have to do that. They have... Um, really gift cards for any of like the most popular restaurants or stores around um, and you can accumulate those points when you scan in your receipts i also have my favorite things amazon lists that is going to be like my crafting things my budgeting supplies um, my husband's favorite things all of that jazz i have listed below in my description box if you guys want to check that out it's always 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 there for you guys i hope june is being so kind to y'all and y'all are having the best month ever. I hope you guys are having a great summer. We are having a blast over here. Tomorrow we are headed to the zoo and I'm so excited about that. We are starting off with our bills binder. Um, we stuff prop money in our bills binder because we are not one month ahead. It is an eventual goal. We're gonna get there, but right now we're not and that's okay. We are gonna put $52 in subscribe and save. Once again, we had two subscribe and saves come out during this pay period. I'm not quite sure how I got behind, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll get caught up eventually. So 52 in subscribe and save for puppy pads. Then we're flipping back to the rest of our bills and we should be picking up with 
mm, this, nope, Apple storage. Okay, so Apple storage is getting $10. Oh my gosh, <laughs> let me try that again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, Apple storage is getting 10. Peacock is getting five. Disney Plus is gonna be getting 12. 10, 11, and 12. And then Google Plus is getting three. One, two, and three. Cell phone is going to be getting 87. Oh my heavens. There we go. 50, 70, 85, 6, and 7. All right. And then I do, and I keep forgetting to unstuff the rest of this bill binder. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Credit card. We did overspend a little bit on my birthday, and so we do have to put a little bit on their credit card, and that should be getting 139. So 120, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this is just a visual representation of what is in our bank account and that we are paying um, either with automatic withdrawal or I am going in there and paying myself. So that is it for our bill binder and then we are going to move on to our wallets and see how we did this week. I'm not quite sure. I think I do have a little bit of rollover so ooh, fingers crossed. Okay here we go. Let's see what we have going on in here. I haven't really I was bad on my birthday week. I didn't do any of like, oh yeah, we have grocery rollover. I didn't track any of my spending on my birthday week or anything like that. Um, and I felt bad, but I was just like, it's going to be too hard and I don't want to be down on myself. It's my birthday, but I'm back on it this week and um, we're doing really, really good and I'm excited about that. So grocery in my wallet is getting $23. Um, we did something really different for grocery. We did, I don't know if you guys have heard of or know about um, Dollar Tree Dinners um, and her YouTube channel. Gas is going to be getting a 50. Um, but I'm obsessed with her. I love her videos. I love um, how she tries to do different things for different people. Um, and um, I just think she's fabulous and wonderful. Yay! Household has rollover too. Um, and so I was like, you know, we're really trying to crack down on our budget and it has one, it's fabulous. Um, household is getting 15. So we um, did Dollar Tree dinners this week and um, I'm really pumped about it and I'm hoping we'll have like a whole lot of surplus in our grocery at the end of the month. And so that way we will be able to put some into our fence challenge. Um, and we're not going to do that like every, um, every week, but maybe we can do it, you know, a couple, a couple weeks of the month. Um, and, and I was really surprised at like what the Dollar Tree had and, um, how much we were able to get. And so we're kind of set for like the next two weeks on groceries. So I'm really pumped about that. I'm really pumped about the recipes that I'm going to be able to make, um, from our Dollar Tree haul. So my spending is going to be getting $20. Um, I also have a question for you guys. So you guys know, and we're about to get started on the questions that we've been doing. Um, we're, you know, I just pull a couple of questions from my question pile and we answer them throughout the video. But would you guys be interested in me doing like an AMA type of video? Um, it's okay if the answer is no. If the answer is yes, would you guys want me to do a, um, ooh, he's in ones and eating out. Uh, it in a cash stuffing, um, or would you guys want me to do it like face to face, kind of like I did my um, debt journey video? Um, my eating out is getting eight, so five, six, seven, and eight. So I should have a total of 18. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, so let me know um, about that. If it's okay, if the answer is no, if we just want to keep going like we're going with the questions now and kind of getting to know each other that way. Or if you guys want to ask me like specific ask me anything questions um let me know and we can definitely get that worked out and i can either do that in um look at all of my ones i am so excited going out with friends is getting a 20 so i'll have a total of 30 um and i can either do that in a cash stuffing or i can do it like you guys can see my face when i answer if you guys want me to do it where you see my face when i answer would you possibly like my husband to be in on it um I haven't asked him yet if he would. 
<laughs> but um, it he is super, super awesome and sweet and fantastic and amazing. And if I ask him to do it, I'm sure he would say yes. So just let me know. And if the answer is yes, go ahead and start asking me some questions in the comments below, like things that you would like for me to um to answer in that AMA type of video. So, um, drinks is getting a 10. So in drinks now, and my ones roll over in drinks, um, is 10, 20, um, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, $27 in drinks. And let's go ahead and get started with our first question in this video. It says, would you rather have everything on your phone right now? So like browsing history, photos, etc., made public to anyone who Googles your name or never use a cell phone again. So I don't like, I'm trying to think of everything that I have on my cell phone right now. And I don't think I have anything bad. I don't think I have anything too terribly bad. So I am going to go with everything can be made public. My toiletries is getting a 20 and I will have 30. Um, I might regret that, <laughs> but that's what I'm going with right now, that everything can be made public. Um, cause I don't remember. I don't think I have anything bad. Um, my mis miscellaneous and buffer both get fives. Um, I think the worst thing that I have is like progress pictures of, um, my weight loss journey. And that is when I was in just like underwear to be honest um but th that's just like when you're in a bathing suit you know so like nothing nothing too salacious or scandalous there my buffer now has seven um so yeah i would go with my my browser everything can be made public to anyone who googles my name and also like no one is googling my name either so like doesn't really matter you know what i mean okay so my wallet is now stuffed and i am so impressed with my ones i usually don't ever have any ones rolled over and i'm excited okay let's see how my husband did okay he did really good on grocery so here we go oh he didn't spend any in grocery so this all rolls over yes because we said anything over eight dollars would go in the one dollar challenge so we'll have to check that so honestly i just could have left that in there but that's okay so 21 <laughs> two three in to his pot here we go gas gets a 50. all right so let's go to our next question what would you like to get better at doing what would you like to get better at doing so he had rollover for household and his household gets 15 so a couple of things for me I would like to get better at making envelopes um I just don't think that they're quality I don't think I think they look cute but I don't think that they're quality envelopes so I'd like to get better at making envelopes I would also like to get better at um, making candles. That's one of my hobbies. His spending is getting a 20. Um, I can't do it right here where we're living at right now. It's just not possible. Um, but like the throw on a candle, that's like the scent throw. His eating out is getting a 20. Um, I don't have a good scent throw right now. And I don't know if it's like the scent fragrances that I'm using or like the type of wax that I'm using but um like the tops never look really pretty and my scent throw is not very large like you have to get pretty close to the candles that I make to be able to smell them so I'd like to get better at making candles his drinks gets a 10 and he now has 10 20 30 40. he has 40 in drinks um, and then lastly, I would like to, clearly I would like to get better at, <laughs> at a lot of things. His toiletries gets a 10. Um, I would like to get better at just like coming up with my own recipes. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not very braggadocious. I do think I'm a good cook though. I'm a good cook at following recipes. Um, I am not a good cook at, um, coming up with and making my own recipes his buffer gets a five so yeah i would like to be able to do that i would be able like to be able to like look at the ingredients that i have and be able to come up with my own recipes um or like have something cooking on the stove and be like oh yeah it needs this this and that um i'm not very good at that right now i've i have ruined several several awesome dishes um by adding too much of something or leaving something out. And so I, I want to be able to be better at that. 
Okay, sweet friends, we are moving on to our sinking funds. I am so excited to see how much grocery is going to have now since we did our Dollar Tree meal prep um, this time. So, groceries is going to get 140 So, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. And then it already had quite a bit in it. So, let's see how much we are going to have Total 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33. So $233 right now in our grocery sinking fund. Love to see that. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so household is getting 55, and that is in the form of 20, 40, 50, Five, and it has some fives. Let's see how much we've got here now. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 5, 10, 15, <laughs> 20, 25, 30, right? <laughs> Let me give that count one more time. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yes, so $130 in household. Love to see that. I think that is definitely because we have started putting more in household um, in our sinking funds and less in our wallets. All right, so Sam's is getting a five. Okay. So Sam's has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, and 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60. So 260 in Sam's. Love to see it. Hunting is getting a 10. And pop that right there. So we have 100 and 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. So 195, we are almost up to 200 back in hunting. Puppy food, we did not put as much in puppy food this time. They get 15 in puppy food, but they look, they already had quite a lot. So I felt confident that we would be able to be okay this pay period with just $15. So let's see here. So they have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Yep, they're great. So $75 in puppy food. So I think I remember telling you guys last time that we got our Sammy boy um, some chew toys. Um, puppy pills is not being stuffed this time. Pups, though, is getting a 10. Um, because he just, he seemed kind of down and out. Um, so we got him the chew toys they were supposed to be for aggressive chewers. He is a lab pit mix. He had them both destroyed probably within an hour. <laughs> Bless his sweet bones, but he has had the most fun with them, so they were worth it. But in pups, now we have 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 205 dollars. Perfect, perfect. So in there we go. And in us, we are stuffing quite a bit in us because we're going to the zoo tomorrow and I'm excited. So we have a, we're stuffing 100 and I did it in the form of 50, 20, 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Okay, so let me assemble this correctly. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 175, 180, 85, 90, 95, 200. So, yep, that's right, $200 in us, and I am pumped. I'm hoping we won't spend that much, but um, just in case, because we don't have to pay for tickets or anything, um, we got the tickets for free. Thank you, Jesus. That was such a blessing. Um, but, you know, just in case, we've got it. All right, over-the-counter meds is getting $5. Okay, and it will have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 
200 in over-the-counter meds. I did have to pull some from over-the-counter meds. I needed some allergy nose spray. If I miss like a day of allergy nose spray, your girl is toast. My allergies kick up immediately. So are y'all like that? Um, <laughs> I just, it kills me how much I have changed with my allergies as I've gotten older, but I definitely have them. Um, all right, so eating out is getting just a five. All right, so we have 110, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 145 and eating out. We did pull from this. We ate some Mexican the other day. We were both craving some good old Mexican food. Um, prescriptions is getting a five. I think a lot of things just got a five. This stuffing just for Father's Day and things like that. So prescriptions has 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. And prescriptions... I love it when they have 200. I don't know why that's my favorite number for my envelopes, but it is. Gas didn't have anything. Chiropractor is getting a five. So it has 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 215, 220, 225. And then we have going out with some friends and that is getting a 10. And let's give it a count. It's got 120, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So 155 in going out with friends. And I don't have a Father's Day envelope, but this $200 that you see right here, that was 300, but this 200 <laughs> is for taking my dad and um, his wife out for Father's Day, so I think I am just going to stick this in the miscellaneous envelope, and I am definitely going to be starting a Father's Day and Mother's Day sinking fund um, as soon as we move and I expand my sinking fund collection, but I'll have that there in miscellaneous for them. Okay. Okay, friends, our ones are going in our $1 challenge and getting that zipped up. And we are moving on to our annuals. We are stepping another annual today and I'm excited about it. So body, of course, we know body is getting a five. I did condense this envelope just a titch. So body is going to have, I believe, 75. Now let's give it a count. 20, 40, 60, 75, perfect. And P.O. box, so excited to finally have a P.O. box. Um, it is going to be getting $3. I only need $40 for my six month um, subscription. I don't know really what to call it, um, but each of these is going to be um, one to $2. So I budgeted $3 today. And let me just color this in real quick. And this is from the awesome Can Do Budget. I will stick this in my PO box annual savings and get this one going. So excited to have a P.O. box finally. And then guys, we are gonna move on to our savings challenges. Okay, first up we have Matron of Honor and Matron of Honor I budgeted $10 for. So let's add in another 10. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, $70 now in Matron of Honor. And I think I want to color another ring this time. So let me get that colored. Okay, I went with a pretty purple stone for all of my amethyst lovers out there. Okay, let's get to our next question. Our next question is a good one. Um, it kind of doesn't apply to me, so I'm gonna put a twist on it just a little bit. It says, what legacy do you want to leave your children? So we don't have kiddos. Um, so I'm just gonna say for me answering it, what legacy do I wanna leave behind? You guys, of course, can answer it either way for if you have kids, what legacy do you wanna leave your kids? Or what legacy do you wanna leave behind? Which other, whichever way you want to answer it is perfect. Um, so for my friend's baby shower, we budgeted a total of $30. And that is awesome because I have to send this money to um, one of the other hosts for the gift soon. So in baby shower, we have 20, 40, 50, 65. So 65 in baby shower. That is wonderful. And let's budget for 
let's just do $10 next time. So for my legacy, what I would like to leave behind, um, it is kind of multi-layered. First and foremost, I want people to, like when they think of me or when they remember me, I want them to say she loved and she loved hard. Like she was kind to anyone and everyone that she met and that she knew um, and that she loved people. So that's what I would love for people to remember me by. So we have an IOU of 20 doll hairs. Um, so I'm going to be able to take that IOU out. So in the Taylor envelope, we will have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110, 15. So $115 in the Taylor envelope. Yay! That's exciting. All right, we have a 20. And in Christmas, we have an IOU of 10. And then we scratched off a 15. So we actually are putting in 25 in Christmas. And let's give this a count. So in Christmas, we're going to have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, and 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. So 117 in Christmas. Yay! And then we're going to scratch off this last scratcher and get done with this savings challenge. All right. So for Christmas next week, we have just $5. Okay, moving on to Bright 25. We are stuffing 24 today. So 21 two, three, and four. That is perfect. So second thing that I would like for people to remember me by and just think of me and be like, oh yes, she was totally like this. Um, I would like th for them to be like, oh yeah, Taylor, she totally loved Jesus. Um, and that is just my own personal preference. That is all my own personal belief system. I know everybody watching my channel may not have the same beliefs as me and may not feel that way. And that's totally fine. Like we can still be friends and we can still get along. And like, I love you so much, but that is just me and how I would like to be remembered is that when people think of me is just like, I loved Jesus and showed the love of Jesus to everyone. Um, and that is just that's just for me. Um, so yes, that's how I would like to leave my legacy is, um, that I loved, um, and that I loved hard and that I loved everyone around me. Um, and that I showed the love of Jesus and that I, um, that I love Jesus. So that is me. That's my legacy. That's what I would like to be remembered as. Um, I can't wait to know what your legacies would be. Um, of course, you know, if we have kids ever, um, I would love to be able to leave them, you know, financial legacy and you know inheritance and things like that but you know we may never and if that's the case you know I would like to be remembered um and you know a legacy that way so um yeah so this is our fives and tens challenge um this was given to me this wallet was given to me by the wonderful Nikki at Nixter Budgets and I just turned it into a fives and tens savings challenge and we are stuffing fifteen dollars today in here and last but not least, we're stuffing the fence challenge. Okay, so going in today is $105. Let's give everything a count. So, boop and boop. So we have $1,000 in the bank. So $1,110.25. So $1,125. Yay, it's coming right along. It's not as much as I would like to have stuffed, but we had some things that we had to pay for this pay period, and that is A-OK. -okay. Okay, my friends, that is the end of this video. Don't forget to let me know about the sound quality in this video and about the AMA type video if that would be something that you would be interested in and if you want it to be face to face with my husband or just a cash stuffing type situation. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I can't wait to read your answers to these questions. I love you guys so, so much. You guys are wonderful and fabulous and amazing. Don't give up doing great things, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.